Fox 17 News at 10 starts. A right teacher now. in Kent County is set to be arraigned tomorrow, accused of sexually assaulting a student more than two decades ago. The sheriff's office says she spoke out after a recent conversation with her daughter on body safety. Maurice Oberly joins us in the studio tonight with those details and to explain how families can prevent this type of abuse, Marisa. Yep, Jamie and Josh, advocates in West Michigan urge parents to talk to their kids about child sexual abuse. They say when people understand what the crime entails, communities can better prevent it. A former Northview Public School teacher now in jail. On Monday, the Kent County Sheriff's Office arrested a 51 year old man from Cannon Township after they say a woman came forward earlier this month with a credible tip that he sexually assaulted her as a 13 year old student. According to investigators, the alleged abuse, some of which happened on district property, began in 1998 and lasted until 2003, three years after the man last worked for Northview. In a statement to Fox 17, the district superintendent said they prioritize scholar safety and well-being and would continue to work diligently to uphold those values and trust. It's unclear why the teacher left or if he went elsewhere, but hours after KCS released information about the accusations, Lowell Area School sent a letter to parents which said they placed a high school teacher on administrative leave after allegations of misconduct. People who commit these sorts of acts it is intentional, and so it is not your fault. Emily Kulhanik works for the Children's Advocacy Center of Kent County and explains kids cannot consent to any form of sexual activity when it involves someone that holds power over them, like a teacher. The more they know, the more that they are going to be empowered to be able to make a healthier decision and a safer decision. She says it's important for families to speak openly about this type of abuse. You want to be developed mentally appropriate again, normalizing your body and reducing that stigma of, of your body. So being able to use anatomically correct names for your body is very important. According to Emily, children often know their perpetrators. Sudden changes in a kid's behavior along with physical signs like bloody or stained underclothes could signal an issue. If a child discloses abuse, she encourages parents to use affirming language and believe them. The more that we can accept that child sexual abuse is a pandemic and it is um, in every community, the more that we can start empowering our kids to understand what's consensual versus what's non-consensual. We can empower caregivers to understand how to have some of those warning signs. The teacher accused in this case is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning at 930. Fox 17, of course, will provide any updates on that hearing both on air and online. If convicted, he faces up to life in prison. Anyone with information on the case or other possible instances should call KCSO or Silent Observer. You can find their numbers on our website at fox17online.com. Reporting in the studio, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.